This painting beside me is called Indian Church, and it was painted in 1928. And Emily Carr made this painting following a trip that she made to a small village called Friendly Cove, which is the native name for it is Uquat. It's on the northwest coast of Vancouver Island off the coast of British Columbia. And Friendly Cove is an interesting place in the history of British Columbia because this is where Captain Cook first uh, set foot on uh, Canadian soil. And the exhibition actually includes an object from Cook's uh, findings at Nootka, a gull mask, which we borrowed uh, from the British Museum, which is in the final room. But it's a very uh, important place in the history of the province because of this connection to European colonialism. And I think that Carr may have been reflecting on this when she made this picture. It's very unusual for Carr because it doesn't depict totem poles or native sites. It depicts an, an Anglican church on the frontier and she makes a real point in the painting of contrasting between the curving shapes of the forest and a kind of curvilinear style, which we also can associate with the Aboriginal carving that she found so uh, compelling in the totem poles and in the kinds of objects that we also have gathered in this show versus the very rectilinear, straight up and down architecture of the church, which is very much the, a, a sort of European type of structure. And it seems to me in this picture that she's playing the two kinds of form making off against each other in this really dramatic way. We also know that she changed the view from its actual original state, which was we have uh, only one photograph actually that's come down to us of Friendly Cove of this church. But in fact, the woods was quite a way back from the church. There was quite a large clearing around it and the, and the cemetery was well off to one side. So Carr has made some decisions to amplify the drama of this encounter between these two types of structures, the trees versus human architecture, and intensifying the kind of sense of a disjuncture, really, in a sense, between the church and the environment around it. One of the really interesting things about Emily Carr's time in Friendly Cove was that when she made this visit, shortly before she made this painting, apparently, rumor has it, that she was invited to go and visit the monument to Captain Cook, which was just in the village not far from where they were staying. And allegedly, she declined to make the visit, saying that she had much better things to do with her time. So she was a very contrary person and very um, unlikely to bow to other people's received ideas of what was important. She felt she had other things better to do, and maybe in this case she was right. <laughs>